Hi, I'm David King at Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library, and this is a shelf full of books. Guess what this shelf would look like if we removed all the books that we can't get in an ebook version? So here's the shelf of books, and here's the same shelf with most of the books gone, honestly. Why? Most of these publishers don't sell ebooks to libraries. So let's take a closer look at some of the books that are left on the shelf. This book comes from Random House and it would cost you about $14 to buy the ebook version, but for a library it costs us $84. That's a 500% increase just because it's a library. Is that fair? We don't think so. In this book, it has an okay price, but after it's been read 26 times, we have to buy it again from HarperCollins. Does this make sense? And why 26? Why not 25 or 30 or even 100? Libraries, we have a problem. Most of us, if we're honest, really don't know the issues around the current ebook landscape, the hurdles, even the possibilities. The first thing you can do is learn more, and we're here to help with that. We're turning ebooksforlibraries.com into a public awareness and news site focused on ebooks for libraries. We'll do that through video, through text blog posts, and through infographics. Our goal isn't to complain, but to share information about the current ebook landscape and how it affects libraries. We'll explain current issues and what they actually mean for libraries. So subscribe now, RSS or email. It's easy. And stay tuned for our next installment of eBooks for Libraries. It's for the readers.